Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 19 July. Over halfway through this month already. Here we are, European Open. Let's see what we're going to do today uh, after Williams and his dovish chat yesterday. First chart we have up here is the S&P E-mini futures. Tricky day for us yesterday. We sold that uh, 8590 area and we bought 80s uh, and we bought 76s and then we resold 90s and then we cut uh, at 01, 30.01. So the day was sort of a bit of a mess in stocks. Um, not really sure what to do here. Looks pretty constructive. Um, 30.07. There's definitely going to be some stops above 30.22. Looks like we're definitely within reach there. So you would, you might consider the long side today. Um, we're just going to leave it alone for now. Uh, but 30.22 does look at risk today in stocks. Euro dollar jumped up with the Williams dovish chat all the way up to 80. Uh, overnight jammed back down to 40. Now here we are at 60. Uh, this is an interesting point up here. This sort of 82, 85 area, 112, 82. Bunch of highs here. Uh, and now even though it's kind of mid-range still it becomes more interesting because the market stopped up here a number of different times on 12.85 so let's keep an eye on that my guess is today we we cruise through that um, just because the market is on this sort of dovish road um, after Williams cable slung higher as well this doesn't really get interesting to me until we get to 125.78 which is the key point today also seems likely that this trades um, but we're not really interested in cable here and sort of the mid 125 handles uh, we're just watching this for now dollar Swiss took a bath down through that 98.17 low, but couldn't sustain it. Um, we're a buyer of dollar Swiss uh, somewhere down here, not here, but the likely point is this sort of 97.70, which would be the gap fill from this Monday gap open um, end of June. But overall, it just it seems hard for us to believe dollar Swiss can continue to go lower, especially when we know the SNB is going to be going to be shifting some euros uh, in this Euro Swiss market. 107.57 held yesterday. There'll be some stops down below here in Euro Swiss, but if Euro if the SNB is going to be buying Euro Swiss, which we expect that it will be, um, it's going dollar Swiss is going to have a hard time collapsing. So. Speaking of Euro Swiss, uh, we are buyers today, but we'll wait for stops to get done below 110.57. Uh, and the SMB, which is a very sophisticated central bank, will also wait. So they're not just going to sit there at 57. They'll let the market clear out stops because um, they know that's a healthy way uh, to defend this. And they won't be defending it like line in the sand this is the end of the world but there will be smoothing things and they will be around and you'll see the flows and you'll see the price action uh, and if you're watching closely you'll you'll know uh, when they're there so we'll be looking out for that but my guess today if we get down to 110 20 uh, we'll probably dip our toe into the water but we're just sort of watching it watching for signs that um, there is that critical name supporting. Dollar yen down to 107.20, but now back at 107.60. Uh, 
We talked about gold and dollar yen yesterday, and that worked out for us. So here, um, not sure what to do. We're square now, dollar yen, and this could go anywhere. Uh, we have this key support in euro yen, which is interesting, 120.80, but dollar yen itself, uh, we just don't really know. So we're just watching dollar yen for now. Not really a, a real, a real key element in our strategy today. Euro yen, on the other hand, looks super uh, interesting here. Likely a double bottom now. This one ten, one twenty eighty. Um, so this has some upward. This has some room on the top side here. Uh, we don't mind getting long euro yen kind of just anywhere around here with the idea that with euro dollar and with equities higher euro yen can easily just float higher here uh, so we don't mind euro yen longs the risk reward looks pretty good because you know where your stop is right 120 80s where everyone who's long is gonna have to stop out you just have to join them um, but euro yen looks all right if we look into the boons Okay, the yield has gone up a little bit, um, but it's still massively negative, right? We're, we're, we're still at minus 31, uh, minus 31 basis points, so there's no real, there's no real drama here in the, uh, in the boons. The low has been minus 40. The high has been minus 20. We're right here at minus 30. Um, but if this thing does start creeping up towards minus 20 again, it gives you a little bit more story to lean on for euro yen higher. But we do like euro yen higher. Aussie, we talked about yesterday through this key 70 50 level. Um, Williams took it all the way up to 82. Overnight, we were down to 53. Here we are at 64. Uh, 70, 90 is the 200 day. I have a feeling we're going to break through that now. Uh, and so Aussie longs are just going to be uh, core long is the way here. The market is structurally short Aussie. Um, I can't really give any good story reasons to buy Aussie. The story is still quite negative. Uh, but the market's ca caught short, and I think we're just going to be on this dovish dollar tangent uh, for the next few days. So keep an eye on uh, Aussie long still. Core long is the way. Euro sterling turned. We were not involved with that. The key point in Euro sterling is 89.55. I don't expect that to be in play today. And finally, dollar CAD, really interesting print up at 130.97. My, my. So we've had one, two, three, four highs in that sort of 95 area. Um, this looks like now it wants to break down through the lows. We're not going to trade this on the left hand side, but we do have retail sales uh, in Canada today. Um, but what a rejection up there, 130.95. Um, very interesting. CAD yen shorts yesterday paid. Uh, we're still short a little bit of this stuff. Uh, our stop is going to be above uh, 82.90. We've traded it a few times. 66, 46, 66 again, 46 again. So we have a real tidy average here. Uh, even though this doesn't really dovetail with risk on. Uh, oil is is lower in general uh, and we like this CAD yen lower so we're gonna continue with our core shorts in CAD yen I guess finally uh, well two things dollar max it's quite an interesting chart here this is the dailies obvious head and shoulders um, short dollar max looks looks interesting today uh, we got this dollar dovish bias left from, from Williams uh, and everything else is screaming kind of dovey. 
Dollar Max could easily catch up and fall into that same uh, same path. Finally, gold. We talked about it yesterday. Fourteen forty is sort of inevitable. It traded up to fifty four last night. It was tricky yesterday. Gold uh, went down to seventeen, up to twenty four, back down seventeen, up to twenty three, back down to eighteen. Uh, and then uh, once it cleared 30 and then Williams came out and, and tweeted his little uh, dovey song, um, we were off to the races. This is just a, a buy on dip still. Um, we are square now. We just took the money and ran. But if you're a medium or long-term trader, long gold looks pretty good. And you want to just be core long, long this stuff. All right, people, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there. Make some dough. Um, and I will see you again uh, Monday at the open. Talk to you later. Ciao.